Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. For these last two parts, we're going to look at applications of GANs. We're going to start with deoldify. This is a pre-trained GAN that you can make use of that will take old photos and convert them so that they look very new. All right, let's do another application of GANs. This one is a lot of fun, and you, you've probably seen some of these videos out there where they will literally, this one was just amazing, Hindenburg, Hindenburg de-oldify. You can literally look at the old footage of something like the, the Hindenburg, and I'll put a link to this guy's video in the, in the description. And it makes it look very, very, very new. Let's go to where everybody's looking at here. And I mean, this looks like something you're watching on a local news reel or something like that. So it, it added all this color, it made the image, and in this case, video, look quite modern. You'll see it's bouncing around at the edges, but that's just how it's taking into account the old, old original video that it came from. So let's go ahead and open this in Colab because you'll need a GPU. And we're going to install deoldify. And I put links to deoldify in here and the source code that I base this example on. So deoldify is a project. Deoldify is a project by Jantic. And there's a real good interview of him that I'm going to also put a link to in the video description. Because deoldify is neat. It's completely not an academic project, which is which is fascinating. There's no paper, there's no anything in terms of how you would deal you would think of this as as academic like a lot of what we see in this course. But it's it's state of the art in terms of taking images and making them look new. We're going to go ahead and install the also the Python requirements that it has. So I think we need a slightly older version of PyTorch. This is also based on PyTorch as well. A lot of these research projects are making use of PyTorch. It does tell you to restart your environment. I have not found that to be necessary in this case. And we'll pull down the weights. There is a watermark that you can add to these that they recommend just so that you can say that this is an altered image. It's optional. I'll go ahead and pull down the watermark. It's just a little image. And then you need to initialize your PyTorch device. This is common for PyTorch. We're going to use the GPU zero. And then it's ready to actually deoldify something for you. I'm taking an old image actually of mine. It's an old family photo, probably taken back in the 1970s when I was a young, young child. And these three dogs that you see here, this is the de-oldified version. So it did a very good job of restoring it. Look at what the old original image looks like. This is, this is my childhood home back in St. Louis that I grew up in. And I guarantee you, back in the 1970s, we were not walking around in a yellow haze. Well, maybe some people were, but that's another story. So this is, this is the image that has turned yellow and, and doesn't look that good like a lot of old images does. And here it, it updates it and it, the colors look better. I mean, the grass looks like grass. The dead grass right there, I know in my father's yard because we had an old swimming pool there that had, I think, gone away by that point. That is the image. Their tongues look red. The fire hydrant, the fire engine toy that I remember as a child, I guarantee you was red. The picnic table, I think I remember was red. And it lost some of its vibrance. The, the picnic table is no longer red, nor is the fire engine. So it's not perfect. It's, it's thinking about it. But let's go ahead and just run this. And what's neat is you can put any image that you want into here. And I just uploaded Scooby Family because that's my dog. Uh, he's no longer with us. He was a good dog. Scooby, a schnauzer. He 
and his family were, were there. So now it's running, it's de-oldifying it. You can put any URL you want to in here and it will de-oldify it for you. And there you can see original next to the new image. So this is another application of GANs. I'm not going into the technology of these. I'm just bringing in a couple of these that you, that you can see and that you can work with. Later in this course, when we get into transfer learning, I'm going to use transfer learning to let you create one of those GAN images that you, like where I morph myself into Thor, for example. And it's very important to crop correctly. So we transfer learn another neural network that locks in on the eyes so that I can crop those images correctly. But we'll see more about that when we get to that in this course. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to stay up to date with this course, as well as other projects that I work on, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a like if it was useful to you. Thank you for watching.